International Light Waterweight Contest. And would you please welcome to the ring now from Poland, Rafał Jatowicz. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring from Brixton, South London, Dangerous Ted Bambi! Ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds international light waterweight contest. Introducing to you, firstly, our visitor fighting out of the red corner wearing the dark blue trunks, weighing in at 10 stone and four pounds with an 18 fight record. 12 wins, six inside the scheduled distance and six losses. He's from Poland. Would you please welcome Rafał Jotowicz. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks, trimmed with blue, weighing in a 10 stone two, 18 fight records, 16 wins, nine inside the scheduled distance, and just the two losses. He's from Brixton, South London. Please welcome Dangerous Ted Bambi. Timekeeper of the bell is Peter McCannon, referee in charge of the action, is Mr. Ken Curtis, and this is eight. Three minute round. Okay, lads, you both know the rules. When I say break, you stop boxing, take a step back. In the event of a boxer going down, the other one goes to a neutral corner. Defend yourself at all times. Best of luck to both of you. Shake hands.
looking to notch up another against more Eastern European opposition. Jepskiewicz, fairly rounded and tough though, at least he looked like that against Jennings. Yes, he did, and he's also pretty awkward and hard to get to. He moves his hands very high, and Bami has got to try and bring those hands down with the body punch. Never been stopped as well. The uh, man who calls himself Braveheart. From We're trying to get Bami some rounds here. And uh, look towards a possible domestic clash for the IBO belt with Colin Lyons. He's got to try and find a, a way through the defence of Jatskiewicz. That might not be that easy for Bami. For Bami to aim at. He's got to ease himself into this. Can ill afford another setback at this stage. Okay, when you're good on one roll, he's a bit tight. He approaches himself as a bit tight. When you're good on one roll, when you chop the right hand, he's a be through the middle, but you've got to be tight when you come through the middle. Okay? Yeah? So give him plenty of movement. Let me put him, yeah? Give him plenty of movement. Okay, when you swing right and over, you roll on the meat, it comes tight with the hook out of the upper part. Okay, but when you get close, one second. Nie pokryli się do niego. Nie pokryli się do niego. Dobra? Tak. Nie pokryli się do niego. 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 Nie do fair amount of experience. Only Bami is switching from orthodox to southpaw, looking for a way around the defense. Rabiatskiewicz. Rabiatskiewicz might just walk off the table now because Bami didn't do a great deal in the first round, so he might just you know, feel he can put a bit more pressure on and see what Bami's got. Outbox from start to finish by the uh, truly welterweight who's doing well at the moment. He's won the English title last weekend, Michael Jennings. But, uh, coming off a 10 round fight in Italy with Antonio Lowry for a, a minor European title. So he has got the experience that could make this a hard night for Bam. Inside there from Bami. Yeah, just looking to push forward more and get that jab working. Go from the top as Bami attempts his jab and just tries to find a way through. He might go for that uppercut again through the middle. Skiavich and Bami's got to find a, a way past that through the board. Rugged, hard and look. About that Skiavich is coming forward now, trying to march Bami down. Right! This is much better from Skiavich. Didn't do a lot in the opening round, but now started to 
push forward and be busy yet. Never been home to against the bench. And he could take a welterweight Jennings the distance. Bammy could be in for a long night here. So far he's going straight through the middle and he's knocking Bammy off balance and Bammy just looking to be thinking in uh, what he's got to do. Got big shoulders, hasn't he? The pole. Very strong looking build. Co, już lepiej, co? Tak, jak nie upadasz na przednią nogę, jasne? Nie upada na przednią nogę, Rafał. Nie lewy się połowę, tylko już lewy prosty. Czy on cię wchodzi tam? Czy on cię wszedł tam? Po lewym prosty wszystko. Przepuściłeś go i zaciągnąłeś wszystko, powiedz, jasne? Okay. Round three. Plenty of movement. The words of James Cook to his charge, Ted Bammy, who's had a little trouble settling here with this uh, awkward hole. Rafael Gatskiewicz, who's starting to grow in confidence and putting his shots together.
Rafael Jackskiewicz, and he knows the Polish man that Bami's been stopped a couple of times. He hasn't been, and then he can sort of charge forward and engage with right hand. Look to upset the apple cart now. Yeah, which is going in the head and body, and this is going to weaken Bami. He's going to lose confidence and focus. He was so bitterly upset after he lost to Samuel Malinga. He said all the confidence was just seeped out of him. He's had comeback wins, but do you think there's something upstairs that worries him still? Well, I think it, it's bound to. It's very hard to get over a defeat like that. And, you know, as you move up in class, you, you always are very wary of the same happening again. He took that defeat pretty badly. The thing is, Samuel Malinga, who... Uh, came over here and beat Colin Lines as well as Ted Bam. He's had a couple of defeats recently in South Africa. It probably shows he's not quite world-class level as well. Don Shield put back in for the Polish man who's still springing on the canvas. Looks very easy, man. Yes, he knows what he's got to do. He knows what punches he's got to throw to get to Bami. He's just concentrating on the, the straight jab and then the, the straight right hand folding it. but most of it caught up in the defence, the uh, crab-like, tough defence of Yatskiewicz. He's probably got Bami as well as he's not building up the, the points because Yatskiewicz is getting through with the, the jab, so he's going to have more of a work with Bami. He's been losing in his rounds, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He's not doing what he's trying to Lazy at times, and uh, he needs to keep busy. Skiewicz came towards him, but I'd still like to see Bami really go for it a lot more. And put the ball on that, the Hear me out. When you're going through with them uppercuts, okay, get the defense a bit tighter. You understand me? Okay. Use those yeah. uppercuts. That's what's given yeah. Bami success. That's what's given Yatskiewicz yeah, success. That's straight right hand. He starts, he throws the jab. So, you know, what you learn from that is don't throw a single jab. Throw a double jab. Okay. All right. Look for plenty of movement. Look for it to your side. Hands up. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Sit down. Then you can roll out. All right. What advice would you give Bami in there? Well, I would advise him to up his work with Let's give it on the back foot. Really good to throw more punches. That was the sixth round. But Ted Bami got probably his biggest win to date over the Welshman Bradley Price. Kept his unbeaten record at Barney Night at the Cardiff Castle. Can he get the very stubborn and pretty successful Rafael Gatskiewicz, who remember lost every round to Michael Jennings at Welterweight. That should have given Bami's people a great deal of confidence before they came into this. They must be worried now. Yes, I think they, they've got to be in that corner a, a little bit worried. Only just finally, it's hard to solve the problems. The guard, Adam, you know, he's got to try and penetrate this, you know, high hell guard. But he has a few times with those uppercuts when he gets close enough. Well, that's the only way you're going to get through a guard. You know, he's holding it. He 
each side of his face and straight through the middle where he's going to 